Shields up, Ironbreakers. How's everybody doing today? We're going to be playing a little bit of I Am Setsuna. This is going to be my first time playing it. I haven't played it yet at all. Uh, this was actually uh, given to me by my good friend Nukem Dukem. He was the one who got me a code for I Am Setsuna. Back close to when the game released, I just never got around or had the time to actually covering the game because there's tons of projects and I'm one man I'm just one man in the middle of all this stuff that is happening but I figured now that um, a lot of the heavy hitters have kind of come out and we're getting close to Christmas as well that, that's another thing right we're getting close to Christmas there's this game which I've been I've heard that there's a lot of snow in it it mostly takes place in a snowy landscape and I'm like you know what that it's like a good little Christmas game get people in the mood so, Merry Christmas, everyone. I mean, it's a little bit early to kind of say that, I guess. We're still like two weeks away from Christmas. But still, you know, I want to check out I Am Setsuna. I've heard a lot of good things about it. So, today is the day that we're going to be doing that. It's already in Sanity Complex 92 in chat. Vaxi 11 um Tyler Anderson, Super Kami Guru. Hopefully, you guys are all having a good time. Let's get this started and see what this is all about, shall we? I am playing this on the Pro, obviously pretty much everything that I play from now on is going to be on the Pro, but I don't know if this has any, or needs to have any Pro features, so I don't think it's particularly relevant which platform I'm playing it on. That's a very simplistic menu. Good. I like that. Do you want to turn on in-game voices? It's a weird request. I guess if you re if you really want to get that old school feel uh, for these JRPGs, you might want to turn them off. But I mean, yeah, I want in-game voices. It's interesting that that's an option right from the get-go. Seems like you live up to the rumors. A natural mercenary. So they're telling us about our character. Or. Perhaps my own skills as a mercenary simply grow weak. I am Hapsper. I will be working with you on this mission. Didn't they just ask me if I wanted to have in-game voices? And I'm pretty sure I said yes. And it's like, I don't. What is your name? Do you want to change Ender's name? Yes. I always like giving characters my own name. Damn, if I can even hit the, the right letters. This friggin' sleep deprivation is gonna get to me, but I can still hit the correct letters. Thank you very much. Nice to be working with you, Rurikon. Apsper over here. Our mission is to recover a young girl who has been kidnapped by monsters. I'm assuming that would be Setsuna. Your job will be to exterminate any monsters we encounter along the way. Once we are done, I shall return the girl to our client. Ooh. Man, such a mercenary approach. Super Kamigura, perhaps this guy dies too quick to need a voice. <laughs> no voice death flag. Wow, dude. Spoiler alert. Once we're done, uh, of course. If she is still alive, that is. Let us begin right away. Ready to go. Dude, Masked Man's got a beastly beard. I like his beard. Ah, we have a really demonic helmet now, don't we? How about you? You don't mess around, eh, Rurikon? No, I don't. Yes, I'm ready. Of course. I won't be getting involved in the combat except in an advisory capacity. It'll be a good chance for me to see your ability. Come on, let's go. Now we have control. Trophy earned a new direction. Oh, I like the little, like little snow stuff. So like you walk through the snow, you can actually make a drawing. I wonder how many pe how many bah, how many people have drawn phalluses by using this system? Because that's the first thing everybody does on the internet. Let's be honest. You get something like this, big phallus comes out. It seems we have already entered their territory. Dude, it's a it's a cute little penguin. Why would, Oh, he's got teeth, though. He's got gnarly-looking teeth, and he seems upset about something. Time to get to work, Rurikon. Ready to go? Yes. 
Puny foe, but you can never be too careful. If you approach without noticing it, you should be able to strike first. Encounters. Uh, I just want to know what what uh, what gauge do I need to use? Under guard mode, however, if you from behind, their guard will be down. You'll then start to battle with full ATB and SP gauges. Like, oh, so you just have to approach them from behind. Okay, so you don't actually strike with the sword. Okay, got it. Active time battle. Once the battle begins, your character's ATB, which are displayed at the bottom of your screen, will start to fill up. Once one of your character gauges is full, his or her command list will be displayed. Select the command and target, and the character will perform that action. When more than one character has a full ADB gauge, you can press the left and right directional buttons or move the left stick left and right to switch between characters. Although they aren't displayed on the screen, monsters also have ATB gauges and will perform actions once they are full. So this is one of those uh, mixed-in, turn-based with actual um, mechanics that take place in real time. Okay. Of course, I'm sure you're already aware, well aware of this. I'm sure it can't be too complex. Here it comes. Oh, that's pretty interesting. I thought you would like get teleported to a different location. Why is he moving around, and why can't I move around? Singularity Garden Goddess. Not sure what that means. And we win. Oh, maybe the character voices are the stuff that he was saying just now in Japanese, like Woody. You obviously know what you're doing. We should be safe for now. Let us head on. I do like the I like the way that they handle the comic because like usually in games like um, you know the traditional JRPGs you would hit the monster they would take you to a battlefield and then you know the situation would go from there and I like the fact that you just come in here and just the battle just starts I wonder how they do that to tackle multiple monsters though that should be interesting oh well I guess we're gonna find out use a tech to take them all out at once you have spike knight stones on you I presume spike knight what Nope, what an astonishing natural talent you must possess. You received Cyclone. Equipping Spite Knight and allows you to use text. Try that stone out. Sprite... Uh, no, it's actually Sprite Knight. I thought it was Spite Knight. Sprite Knight are stones that are imbued with magical energy. Equipping them allows your characters to obtain a wide range of powers. There are two types of Sprite Knight. Command Sprite Knight allows your characters to use different text during battle from the text menu. While support Sprite Knight... Grants effects that occur automatically doing during battle. I prefer support ones then. I like passive stuff. Sprite Knight can be equipped from the menu. This is done by inserting them into slots contained in the talismans. At first, your character will only have one slot. They will gain more as their levels increase. And by equipping different talismans, there are three types of slot. One's for command sprite, Sprite Knight support, and others that can be used to equip either. Okay. Okay, let's equip our Sprite Knight. All Sprite Knight. Cyclone. Uses 10 mana. I wish they would just tell you how mana gets recovered. Because that's always the most important thing. Like, how do I recover mana? And looks like battle's about to start. Tech, Cyclone. Oh, that was 10 mana that we just used up. Why can't I move my characters? What the hell's up with that? Exact kill. Characters are badass like Woody. Nice job. Come, let us hurry on. Dude, tell me how my mana regens. That's the important part. Assuming this is for saving. What's the matter? What's this? It's the presence of monsters further inside the woods, did you? All the more reason for us to hurry on. So he, he can't he doesn't even acknowledge that there's a save point here. <laughs> Just like I said, save point. Okay, so here you can come in here. Do you want to save your progress? Yes.
She's still breathing. Is this our uh, client? I guess that's not Satsuna then. Or maybe she is. Who knows? Well, not for long at this rate. Oh! Big evil thing. Another one. And much more powerful this time. Doesn't look like we'll be getting out of here alive without defeating it. No matter how powerful every foe has its moments of weakness, you must see such moments to strike. When a character's ATB gauge is full, but you haven't yet selected a command, the round SP special power gauge to the right will start to fill up. It will also be filled when your characters perform actions or take damage. Once it is full, it will flash, and one SP point will appear at the top. The gauge will then be reset, start to fill. The maximum number of SP points is three. When a character has at least one SP point, you can choose to trigger momentum mode to add various additional effects to attacks and techs. Says one of your characters performs an action, a light will appear above them, and pressing the square button at that moment will trigger momentum mode. Momentum mode effects. During battle, special bonuses affect your whole party, also sometimes occur randomly. It's known as singularity. There are various different bonuses, and the one that occurs is chosen randomly. The more you use momentum mode, the greater chance of singularity occurring during long battles. Make sure to use momentum mode as much as possible. Ouch, that hurts quite a bit. So now I just attack it until I can use momentum mode? Because that's kind of what it looked like. Well, we killed it, we never got to use momentum mode. I thought I was supposed to press square at some point there. We're here to rescue you. Don't worry, I took care of the monsters for you. Oh, so I'm safe. Yes, yes you are. But why? This is our job. We're mercenaries. Came here because we're hired by your father. Thank you so much. I'll be able to see everyone again. Thank goodness. Thank you, thank you so much. Take this, Rurikan. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. 5,000 gold. My share? Thank you. It's time for us to go our separate ways, Rurikan. I shall take this girl back to her father. Take care. That was it. Tell me, Rurikan. How long do you plan on staying in this line of work? Never even thought about it. How strong you are. Even if some very difficult decisions are forced upon you, I am sure you will prevail. Please treasure your time. Relax yourself. I am no foe. Were I a foe, I would have already attacked you from behind, would I not? Not that I think there is any way I could possibly defeat a swordsman of your caliber, of course. You sound suspicious. I have witnessed your ability, Rurikan. I have a mission I would like to ask you to complete on behalf of my master. What's the mission? I'm a mercenary. Pay me. You are indeed everything the rumors say, Rurikan. Just off the coast of the mainland, there is a small isle, and on that isle, there's a small village, and on that village, there's a small person. <laughs> In that, <laughs> that's actually, I wasn't even looking at the text. In that village, there is a young girl who shall turn 18 years old this year. <laughs> I love how they have to specify. She's 18. She is legal. My mission for you, Rurikan, if you choose to accept, is to kill her. That's fucked up. I don't accept. I refuse. I'm not going to kill no 18-year-old girl.
I like the very simplistic art style approach that they have because this is going to make this game age really well. You know, it's it's nice to have games that are like super graphical powerhouses, but a game probably of a budget of a budget like this one cuz this feels very much like a more budget title. Uh, which is in no way a knock to the game. I mean, you have your high budget titles and your lower budget titles, and that doesn't mean that they're worse or better than one another. It's just, obviously, you have to make some concessions, and in this case, I think that what they're doing with the art style is right on point for what they're going for. And the gameplay feels pretty solid as well, even though I didn't really understand the mechanic that you guys were talking about in chat, that you have to press square just as a little f flash of light shows up to get momentum mode. I didn't notice that. My bad. Yeah, the soundtrack is also pretty damn good if you're into piano stuff. Just off the coast of the mainland, there's a small isle, and on that isle, there's a small village. In that village, there's a young girl who shall turn 18 years old this year. My mission for you, Rurikan, is to kill her. The village of which I speak is known as the Village of Sacrifice. Once every ten years, a sacrifice is chosen and sets out on a journey to the last lands to fulfill her duty. Not long ago, a young girl was once again chosen to become a sacrifice. It is she who is your target. We'll soon be arriving at Knive Island, sir. No tanned worker, I haven't seen your face around here before, or your mask, rather. It's very unusual for travelers to come over from the mainland, of course. Knive Village has just passed here. All the villagers are very friendly. I'm sure you'll feel right at home in no time. Can I just say that this game looks beautiful? I mean, I was just talking about how the art style really does it, but like, I'm looking at it now with attention to the detail of the water and all this other stuff. It looks gorgeous. Um, then again, it's, it's one of those things because like, you guys know I have a new TV and all that shit, and it's like, I just notice a lot more when stuff looks prettier than it does on a regular computer monitor. All the villagers are very friendly, I'm sure if we ride home in no time. Okay. Oh, friendly enough that I can just walk into their homes? Can I attack or do anything? No. So I can press triangle, open up this menu. Weapons, party, show chronicles, settings. What are the settings? <laughs> Battle mode, wait, active. Wait, time freezes when you select items or text from the window. Active time flows constantly in battle, allowing for fast-paced combat. No, 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 make it wait. Battle cursor memory. Not sure what this means. Adjust the memory settings and battle cursor will appear at default position. Turns on cursor for memory. Tech and item selections turns on cursor memory for the command list. Oh, just leave where it is. Ah, okay. The hero's voice is just stuff that he says during combat, I think. Okay, looks good. Do we have anything else that we can equip? We have a tent? Materials, beehive claw, sturdy sheet metal, ping pingy's treasure. Okay. <clears throat> Still don't know exactly how mana gets replenished, but it looks like you might have to rest in order to replenish your mana. So you're going to have to manage that pretty darn well. <laughs> very few people travel this island these days, what with all the monsters. You're very brave to have come here. Let me welcome you on behalf of the village. Looks like you can't actually open any of these boxes, but I want to go inside this house and steal everything they have, because that's what isn't that what you do in RPGs? Even in Pokemon, I go inside everybody's house and be like, give me things. See what I mean? Here's a chest. I'm going to take this. Maybe not. Give me the key to that chest. Sorry, we're not open yet. Interesting blend of arts here. You have some stuff that is clearly hand-drawn mixed with um, the 3D stuff. It's got a very unique look and feel to it. Which does kind of remind you of uh, the JRPGs of old. Even though I never played a lot of those games. I see. A little bit of frame drop when we go through the stairs there. I don't know what to do with that. It's weird.
They really focused on this snow motif. All you need now is a Santa Claus. Hello. You want to get to the village? After you leave the port, just head north northwest and you will soon see it. Oh, I wonder if I'll have to fight monsters along the way. Oh, okay. Here's the overworld map. Northwest is that way. So there's the village. Here are the orange trees that we see all over the, uh, the trailer. I wonder if there's random encounters. That'd be cool. Doesn't seem like there's random. Well, maybe they are. Maybe they're just not enabled yet. I'm just forcefully running around to see if I trigger some kind of random event, but it doesn't seem like it's happening. Let's go to Knife Village, see what's up. Super Kamiguru, sorry we're not open yet, neither is this chest. <laughs> Welcome, traveler. I am Raishin. I live here in this village. Beautiful scenery, warm people. It's a wonderful place, this village. Please stay as long as you like. The game has a very welcoming feel to it. It's just like, just... Just enjoy yourself. Just chill. Contemplative young man. After she gave birth to my dad, my grandmother left here as part of the sacrifice's guard. Young or old, man or woman, anyone can join the guard if they've got what it takes. Hey, it's Deckard Kane. Stay a while and listen, toothless old man. Today is a day of celebration. The sacrifice will be departing on her pilgrimage. It reminds me of the day I saw my wife off. Ah, these people just kind of accept that. It's like, hey, every, every so often, people just, they just have to go. They just have to get sacrificed, and that's too bad. It just happens. It's a surprisingly dark story tone, you know? It's just like, yeah, there's just people are gonna die. I guess I'll just take these people water. They seem to be okay with it. Hey, how you doing? Frail looking man. My family are close with the family of the girl who's been chosen as a sacrifice, you see. So today's the day, eh? Huh. Hey, have you been to the Falling Snow Monument? Apparently, it's just through the Daz Dazshire Woods near Village. There are monsters in the woods, though, so I've never been. Yeah, man, those uh, feral penguins? Serious problem. What about the whole departure ceremony for the sacrifice? My own daughter is the one who will take this important role. I suppose this too is fate. Wow, you just seem very calm for someone who's about to sacrifice his daughter. It's one of those things. These They are creating a world that is very... You know, it's very different from our... From reality. Just like straight up to the point where... These people just accept this. This is a reality for them. And interestingly enough, um, not sure how many of you guys studied history, but like the Mayans were kind of like this as well. They were very much sacrificial cultures. So it's like, yeah, from time to time, yeah, someone's going to just get fucking sacrificed and everybody's just move on with their lives. Like this is, this is, it's like people think, oh, wow, this is such, there's such a disconnect here. No, this was happening a long time ago in our world in several places. I just quote the Mayans as one of those cultures. Ace of Spades. Hey, you want some exposition and information about our land, random stranger who walked into my house without permission? Have a cookie while you're at it. Oh, and feel free to take all this water from our chest. <laughs> that little busybody says she's worried about me. A sacrifice should have enough on her plate without worrying about other people. Assuming Setsuna is the one who's going to be sacrificed. Hey, kid. Let me take what's... Aw. Give me the key, kid. I know you have the key. She's so kind, so beautiful. She's absolutely perfect. That's precisely why I think she's perfect for me. But now that she's been chosen to sacrifice, I guess I'll just have to try and forget about her. Wow, oh, that's that's really dark. It's like, I'm in love. Guess what? The woman I love is going to be sacrificed. Oh, well, I guess I have to move on with my life. Zethus, you'd like to smash some pots while you're here? <laughs> hey, my armor is blue. I don't look like Link at all. Okay, let's see what we got here. Wait, this is the dude that's in love. Just meeting everyone that's in this village. Hi. 
The girl who has been chosen to sacrifice is ever such a kind young lady. She often goes to the Falling Snow Monument to pray for the past sacrifices just past the Dashire Woods. Yeah, this is what people keep telling me. Last of this village on my travels and took a liking to it. I ended up staying here, but the villagers aren't very friendly towards me. Wish there was some way I could win their trust. Can't tell anyone where Setsuna went. I promise I'd keep it a secret. I guess I can tell you once she gets back from the Falling Snow Monument, though. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much for keeping it a secret. Wait, what? We always thought all the monsters came here from the mainland, but that isn't the case anymore. Now they appear as if from nowhere, and their numbers grow greater by the day. <laughs> My village chief. Her mother and her aunt, too. I saw them off just like this, too. We are powerless to do anything else. Even if it's for everyone's sake, surely this is too much grief for one family to bear. <laughs> Mother and daughter both setting off a sacrifice fate is a strange thing indeed. Must at least make her some kind of... Some of that arctic cauliflower soup she loves so much. This is where we came from. Just trying to make sure I check everything out. I guess I have to go to the Snow Falling Monument. Who's this guy? He looks like he's important. Apothecary. Listen to advice. Along the course of your journey, you will sometimes come across special metals. By combining these metals with your weapons, it is possible to raise their stats. You can do this from the weapons menu. As you progress through the game, you'll also be able to purchase these metals from Rapian Tallies. So this guy sells stuff. Potion, MP, Ether is where it recovers MP. Pinion Water. Isn't this what I got? Revives a knocked out character, also recovers, uh, I think I got like three of these. I think. Alright. Inventory. Yep. We have ten potions. Ether is really expensive, so we don't want to get into that. I wonder if there's anything in this house I can take. Can I take stuff? No, there's no stuff. There's only a person. What are you, what are you doing? Round-faced men. The monsters have become much more ferocious lately. Even just getting through the Dashire Woods to the Northeast is hard going these days. So I'm guessing this is the village. And now I have to go outside the village and head out through those woods that they're talking about. So you come to the village to figure out where Setsuna is. And then you go out, you go through the Dazshire Woods, which I'm assuming is through here. Oh, this is a long-ass trek. And here is where we'll start encountering monsters. Hello. That's it. Turn your back. I'm gonna get ya. I thought I was supposed to start with everything. Oh, this is, the timing on this is insane. Oh wait. The timing only shows up once you actually have the full thing. So the blue glow does not show up unless you have it full. At least that's what it looks like, because I, I didn't see the blue glow this time. Ooh, there's a chest. Sweet. Oh, man. Why you gotta be locked? But I got him from behind. There we go. What? Weak. Weak sauce, dude. I want to trigger momentum mode this time. Though. Wait, I have one, right? Add physical damage. 
Yeah, it looks like that happened. It is really quick. You have to go like X square, X square. I would very much like to move my character as well, because I, I, I don't know if there's like anything other than the visual aspect of monsters moving around, or if there's actually a technical, uh, not a technical, but like some kind of a, an advantage to it. Let's wait until he moves to the other side so that we're not caught off guard. Or is he not doing it? He's going to do it as soon as I attack. Oh, see, see what I mean? Bastard. I'm getting ya. I'm a getting ya. I missed, but I still got whatever the effect was supposed to be. Yes. This is super slap. <laughs> oh, that's an attack right there. So it looks like you can't actually see the HP of monsters. Yes. Add physical damage, momentum kill, beast. Mastering that momentum mode. So it doesn't look like there's a map that you can actually guide yourself through. Although the path so far is pretty linear. But I mean, this is the first dungeon, so to speak. So. Oh, you guys are going to get it. Oh, wow, this one's even faster. Ooh, look at the focusing and shit. No, no, no. Complete drop, singularity. Okay. You gotta be real fast with this stuff. Super Kamigura Pimp Flipper Activate. <laughs> Bengi's treasure, majestic crest, sturdy sheet metal, unknown shell. Now, they were saying that in the weapon menu, we can, like, add stuff. Shadow light. Strength and weapon. No tempering item zone. But I have items. Inventory materials. See, look at all this stuff. Why can't I do anything? I guess that the items that I need are different. Either way, we, we've used one of the things. It doesn't seem like our man is recovering. So yeah, it's all done through consumable. So you gotta really ponder the way you engage in combat. And again, how often can you save? Can I say, oh, only in those save points. They better have a decent amount of save spots. Uh, am I back at the start? Yeah. So this is a shortcut to return back. Shouldn't have done it. I shouldn't have done it! So, so far I like it, but I gotta say that the timing on the momentum thing is kind of confusing, because it, it, so far it's literally been X and instantly afterwards square. I mean, there's no actual time in between the, the thing. It's just like X square. You might as well just go X square straight up. So there's the uh, the thing that we're supposed to go to, I'm assuming. That would be the, the pillar of snow whatever thingy. The falling snow monument. Fair skinned girl. Well, Mom, I will be leaving soon. I'm going to give this everything I've got. Hope you can keep watching over me until the end. Hi there. My name is Rurikon, and I'm not here to rescue you. Who are you? Dude, I just drew... Like, no introductions, no nothing like... My character is just like cold as ice. He's just like, yep, the, the, I've been sent here to kill you. You're just going to die. I came here to find you. That sword in your hands. I don't know why, but it seems you are after my life. You don't know why? It probably has something to do with the fact that I approached you from behind and drew my sword. I would say that probably is a... Pretty good indicator. I am the sacrifice. 
I was chosen to give my life in the last lands. Just like the past sacrifices whose names are engraved upon this monument. That is why I cannot let you take my life now. But even if you do not kill me, my life will end soon enough. When my journey comes to an end, so too will my life. Holy crap! This character is crazy! No, don't swing your sword! Don't be a dick! I am... You want to change Setsuna's name? No. I am Setsuna. And you are? I am Fireball in the face. <laughs> oh man. Setsuna, are you all right? Thank goodness we made it in time. I'm sure you're very very skilled indeed. But have you ever taken on two magic users at once, I wonder? I shall protect Setsuna, even if it costs me my life. Oh, I see how this is. Who am I? <laughs> I mean, this is actually a good idea. I could pretend, hey, I, I don't know who I was. I have no idea what was happening. Stop daydreaming and pull yourself together. We're the ones who want to know who you are. You were put to sleep and carried back here. Give it up. There's no way you'll be able to move. You've got the magical energy of two magic users restraining you, you know? Looks like you're no pushover, hey? Is he, is he Canadian? Maybe he's Canadian. Phew, you're just in time. Or what was it again? I've been here for two weeks now. Isn't it about time you remembered my name? Eterna. Got it? Sorry, Eterna. Never mind that, though. Look! What? How can he can get up? How come he can get up? I've heard the stories. A masked tribe who make their living as mercenaries. You're one of them, aren't you? Why did you try to kill Setsuna? Who hired you? For generations, sacrifices from this village have given their lives in order to protect the world. You try to kill one of those precious sacrifices. Do you even understand just how serious a crime that is? I don't care. Yeah, I guess this is just like, whatever. Just the answer you'd expect from a mercenary. Only interested in what you need to know. To you, the truth is meaningless. I will protect Setsuna. I won't let you touch her no matter what. You stay lying right there. Uh-oh, you've made her mad. It's the guillotine for you, I'm afraid. Come on, at least act like you care. Talk about emotionless. Anyway, I'm kidding. We don't even have a guillotine here in the village. We got pretty lucky, though. Several of the villagers did actually insist that you'd be severely punished. The reason you're still alive now is you had someone to defend you. You know who that was? The sacrifice? Well, I am surprised. Exactly right. You're a sharp guy. It was Setsuna who protected you with the sacrifice herself and asking us to spare you. No one could exactly argue. What a curious young lady she is. Saving the life of the very same person who tried to kill her. Once Setsuna is safely on her way, we'll let you go. That's what the village chief ended up promising her, you see. Anyway, until then, you can stay right here. What? It's the monsters! The monsters are attacking again! What? Forget about that house. The only person in here is the guy who tried to kill the sacrifice. No, but, but still. <laughs> Come on, we need to hurry up and get all the villagers to safety. Sorry, don't hold it against me, all right? 
Y'all gonna die. Sorry I took so long. I'll take care of things, don't worry, you get out of here. Oh, Satsuma's so nice. Satsuna, what are you planning on doing with him? Letting him go. What do you mean? We can't just let a criminal free? He has yet to commit any crime. We can't leave him here to die. Oh, one of these? I've beaten one of these already. Alright, if you want to live, draw your sword and help protect Satsuna. Oh, she can attack already. Okay, she's probably more of a tech user, though. Or so I would expect. So, let's do whatever this is. Uh, doesn't seem particularly impressive. Super slap! We need to get rid of the rest of these monsters. You help too. No way. Sure, I'll help out. At least you're not arguing back. It's not like you were gonna lend me anyways. Come on, let's be honest. Anyway, I'm afraid saying no isn't an option. I'll help too, Eterna. No, you stay hidden, Setsuna. But don't worry, it's fine. I'm going to protect you. Let's go. If you try to run, I'll kill you. So watch your back. <laughs> How nice she is! If you try to run, I'll kill you! Oh wow, that's uh, double- I wasn't really prepared for that one. Not exactly what I meant to do there. The Cyclone's AoE, so it's really whatever. She's doing fine. Wait, wait, what's this? Ooh, nice! Although that probably used up quite a bit of mana, so I gotta be more careful about that stuff. Do you get full mana back? Once you level up? Be good if you did. Anyway, let's clear up this village. What else you guys got to throw at me? Man, these chests are still locked. I need, like, a key. We got him. We got him from behind. We should have had full... Yeah, there we go. Is she higher level than me? Because she seems to fill up her gauge faster. Momentum kill. You goddamn right. I'm doing momentum even if I don't have it at this point. It's just more intuitive. You just go XX square. Boom. Oh, another penguin here. Wait, wait, wait. Turn around. Turn your back. Turn your back. Turn your back. Damn it. There you go. Gotcha. Yeah, and you get your full mana if you um, level up. Combat is really fast-paced, though. For a turn-based game, combat feels extremely fast-paced. That's the last of them. Seems there was no real damage to the village, either. Uh-oh. Oh, wow. That, uh... That right there looks like a boss fight, if I've ever seen one. Oh, well, looks like the headline act is here. Can you still fight? Of course. Glad to hear it. Get yourself ready. This wasn't. This one isn't like the others. Being a little tired is no excuse either. We must protect us soon, if it even if it costs us our lives. Don't say that. Oh, she healed us. 
She's a healer. What are you talking about? I'll protect you. Just that's right, Eterna. I need you to protect me. So, so if you die here, how will you be able to do that? Or if you'd be able to protect me, Eterna, right now, I need to protect you. I made up my mind. It's like nothing I say is gonna make any difference. Just promise me you'll run away if it gets too dangerous. I will, together with you. Satsuna, join your party. Oh, why did I have to go full frontal? Full frontal assault. The system's a little bit confusing. Okay, next up will be my character. I need to see what Setsuna's tech... What, what tech do you have? Let's do your tech thing. Whoa, that's a lot of damage. Okay, Setsuna, we're gonna need a heal here, which it seems like you have it. So, why don't you go ahead and cure... Me. Thank you very much. She should be getting her special now. I should be getting my special, which means that we can do like a combo strike next. If I understood the system correctly. At least that's the way it worked last time. Actually, it doesn't... Oh, wait. Maybe I had to... Oh, here's the combo. X strike. She only has cure, so she'll attack as well. Actually, uh, Eterna needs a heal next, so. I'm gonna start doing momentum strikes next. Oh, we got a momentum kill. Don't bother trying to resist. We can't let you go until we decide what to do with you. Murder of a sacrifice is a very grave crime. Even if it was only an attempted murder, we can't just let you walk. Well, technically speaking, I never really swung the sword. I was saying that I wasn't going to do it. So, I mean, not sure how fair that is. Is that sacrifices keep monsters at bay and stop them becoming more ferocious. If it wasn't for them, everywhere would have been overrun by monsters long, long time ago. Sorry, seems like to me that you guys are just a bunch of casuals that want to sacrifice people rather than actually take the fight to the real problem. You almost doomed all of mankind to certain death. I, I thought we were on a small island, so all of mankind... Uh, do the sacrifices have meaning? they didn't, mankind would have been wiped out centuries ago. In the shadows of history, there are people who have continued to protect all of humanity. Not that I imagine you've ever felt even an ounce of gratitude towards them, of course. There is no way you could possibly understand. The ritual of sacrifice is repeated over and over again in order to bring us into the future. Ah, you are all safe, thank goodness. I heard what happened. You fought off the monsters that attacked our village, did you not? Before anything else, let me thank you on behalf of everyone in the village. Now, with regards to what we shall do about you, truth be told, I too am at a loss. It needs to be kept restrained until the sacrifice is set off from the village. Yes, yeah, better safe than sorry, I suppose. Please wait! What is it, Setsuna? It's me who we try to kill. Please hear me out. I want you to make him a free man. Let him go, you mean? No, not quite. I'd like him to join my guard. We can't do that! He's too dangerous! If he's so skilled that you think he's dangerous, surely he'll make a very reliable companion. The sacrificial pilgrimage is not an easy journey. The more people we have on our side, the better, right? No matter what you say, I'm still against it. 
we'd be putting ourselves close to a man who's even more dangerous than the monsters. If it's my life you're, um, you're after, then please see the pilgrimage through to its end. If I complete my duty as a sacrifice, that should also fulfill your goal, my death. So, what say you? In light of your having protected our village from the monsters, we shall respect your decision. Will you remain here in the village until Setsuna departs on her pilgrimage, or will you leave on her journey together with her as part of her guard? There is still time until their departure. Once you have made up your mind, come to my house. Mine is the northernmost house in the village. I shall be looking forward to hearing your reply. I doubt there's actually a choice. I mean, they have to kind of funnel you through the quest, right? Unless they're actually, they've actually been bold enough to just be like, no, you can just say no and you finish the game and she dies. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for asking you to involve yourself. By the way, what's your name? I didn't get a chance to ask you before. I see, so your name's Rurikan. Say, Rurikan, I'm going to go to the Falling Snow Monument. Will you come with me? Sure. Thank you. You know where the Falling Snow Monument is, right? It's where you and I first met. Satsuna has joined your party. Well, she's a healer. She'll come in handy. But anyway, guys, this was just a first impression stream for me to take a look at Setsuna and show you guys what um, I Am Setsuna is all about. I don't really want to delve too much into the story because I know that this is the kind of game that I would want to play, you know, and continue playing thoroughly. And right now, my attention is divided in other titles, namely Final Fantasy XV, so I'm not going to be uh, investing any, ti any time on this until I'm done with Final Fantasy. But I did want to take a look at it, show you guys about it, so that we could all get an idea what it's all about and we could have a video about it on the channel. Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed the live stream. Thank you very much for showing up. If you guys enjoyed the stream, make sure to hit that like button because it'll help us out a lot. Subscribe if you're new so that you're always notified when I'm live streaming. I know this was a bit of a shorter stream today because I'm like super packed with other stuff that I gotta get, I gotta get done. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in the next one.